Hello, it's been a while since I've done a bushcraft video. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to make a Swedish torch like this. Sort of fire that's very good for cooking on. Nice flat base, lots of heat for putting your pots and pans on. Bah! So the first thing to do is to pick a log. It needs to be flat on the bottom, flat on the top. I've gone for a one that's been cut through the knots here where the branches come out so I've got an extra wide base for stability. Once you've picked your log you need to split it this way and that way with an axe to give you four quarters. That's it in half. Now I just need to half these ones and that'll give me my quarters. Right, that's the quarters scattered to the four winds. Now I've got to reassemble these parts. I've reassembled them as so. That's where I've split it with the axe. See I made a bit of a balls of that one, but uh, not to worry, it's in four pieces. And we've allowed little gaps between these four pieces. And using a hand axe, we're going to chop these pieces of wood up to make kindling and slot them down inside of here. Right then, got quite a lot of kindling there, but I don't think there's enough. I might need to cut some more. I'm going to drop those pieces in a bit of a crisscross fashion between the pieces of log. Because this is a very big log and the kindling doesn't stretch right across it, I'm going to snap some bits up and plug them in the sides. Now we need some very small bits, fill in these little gaps and we're also going to get a bit of dry grass as well. I've got some kindling here for when it takes hold just to drop in, get it really hot. I've got the kindling more or less in, around the edges. So I'll just give it a quick spin round with the camera, let you see what it looks like. And hopefully you can see from that, that there's the crisscross of kindling and there's also dried grass shoved between the kindling. Yeah. What I'm going to do now is drop a spark into the top of here and get a little fire going. You can use matches of course, you just light around the four edges. Right, as the fire gets going, I can spread it about so it covers the whole cross and it should work its way down. 
If not, you can light a stick and give it a bit of encouragement by lighting around the edges here. All right, it's burning quite nicely there. I'm gonna give it a bit of a blow, get the flame going, and then I'm gonna drop more kindling down these slits here. That's a pretty intense flame. Now as these burn, they'll form red hot ashes and they'll drop down these slits here and create a very hot environment inside of here. Air will get sucked in from the sides and it should begin to blow not only smoke but flames out of the top like a torch. There you can see the kindling burning inside of that slit there. And that's setting a light to the sides of the big log. Now when the sides of those big logs start to burn up the side of here and here we can move these sections in a little bit and by then all of the kindling should be burnt away leaving just red hot pieces of wood here and across here and that should provide our torch. You can see how this thing works as the sides of these logs are burning they're feeding off each other, the heat's really building up in there. The air's being sucked in and the flames are being blown out the top. Very, very hot indeed. Now then, if you're the sort of person that lights fires with cotton wool or petrol and proclaims that to be bushcraft, then this is just the thing for you. If you're at home trying this, get your leaf blower out and if your torch isn't producing much flame, you can sharp rectify that. That's job done. That saved you all the time waiting and barting around with little bits of kindling. But if you're out in the bush, most people wouldn't have a leaf blower to hand. So if you take the leaf blower part of the video out, that's a pretty good bushcraft lesson. Pan goes on top of there. pan goes on top of there, lovely hot flame and you'll boil water very quickly in there. This is just a quick view looking down the torch. You can see how red hot it is in there. All the insides of the log are burning, flames coming out the top. Really really hot. Excellent. As the insides of the log burn away you would move these sides in a bit, keep them quite tight together but obviously allowing a little air gap because you want the air to rush in the bottom and shoot out the top. That's it, I think that's video 1001. Not all bushcraft related obviously, but if you've watched this and enjoyed it, click the like button. Thanks for watching. Still recording. <laughs> I knew that. But why didn't you see? I thought you were still doing the video. What? <laughs> still doing the video of us sitting around doing note? Yeah. <laughs>